Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I am Al Gian Quinto of the Health Facility Planning Agency, a member of the project delivery team for this project and hostess for today's ceremony. We are gathered to celebrate a major construction milestone in the replacement facility project of the Ireland Army Health Clinic. We are celebrating this occasion by topping off the final structural beam of the building with time-honored traditions of both the United States military and building construction. Distinguished guests will top off the beam by affixing their respective organization's coins and signatures on the final beam. The beam will then be placed and welded to the structure by a steel worker. Once complete, the building will be topped out. Fort Knox is celebrating its 100th anniversary. MEDAC Fort Knox is also celebrating its 100th anniversary. Today is the Army's 243rd birthday. The project team has the distinct honor of contributing to the centennial year on the Army's birthday. We are grateful for this opportunity. The host for today's ceremony is Mortensen, the construction contractor and member of this project team. On behalf of the project delivery team of Mortensen, the United States Army Corps of Engineers, Louisville District, the United States Army Health Facility Planning Agency, we welcome Commanding General, 1st Army Division East, Major General Todd McCaffrey and his wife, Lisa, Command Sergeant Major, 1st Army Division East, Command Sergeant Major Royce Manis, Commanding General, United States Army Cadet Command in Fort Knox, Brigadier General Promotable John Evans, Jr., Command Sergeant Major, United States Army Cadet Command in Fort Knox, Command Sergeant Major Kenneth Cross and his wife Fran, Commanding General, 84th Training Command, Major General A. Ray Royalty, Command Sergeant Major, 84th Training Command, Command Sergeant Major Lawrence Arnold, Command Sergeant Major, United States Army Reserve Aviation Command, Command Sergeant Major James Peter Matthews, Commander Fort Knox Garrison, Colonel Pat County, Command Sergeant Major Fort Knox Garrison, Command Sergeant Major Garrett Griffin, Deputy Garrison Commander Fort Knox, Mr. Emmett Holly, Commander Medat Fort Knox, Colonel Kevin R. Bass, Command Sergeant Major Medat Fort Knox, Command Sergeant Major A.J. Santos. Thank you to all the distinguished visitors and guests, family and friends. Please rise for the national anthem sung by Staff Sergeant Promotable Jones, followed by the invocation given by Chaplain Claypool. <clears throat> oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's glass gleaming whose bright stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight for the ramparts we watch we're so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in us they prove through the night that our flag was still there oh say that star spangled banner for the land and of the free and the home of the brave. I ask that you please join me in prayer. God of heaven and earth, as we are here to celebrate the final structural beam being put into place, I am reminded that you are the capstone of my salvation, the author and the finisher of faith. I'm also reminded of this building's purpose to promote health and healing with the image of Moses lifting the serpent in the wilderness that brought healing, well-being, 
I pray that that same spirit is upon this place, one of safety and of peace. We ask all this and honor this ceremony today in your holy name, amen. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Safety is an important part of construction and a priority of everyone on this project. Given the active construction site, Mike Lordeman of Mortenson will give our site safety brief. Mike is also a United States Army veteran. Welcome to our job site today. I'm glad to see you all here. So a few things that we got going on here is, is we're asking you to stay within the, the yellow taped areas, not to wander off. I know how the generals like to wander off, so I want you guys to make sure you stick around here, all right? The other thing is, is we'll be going over to sign the beam and put our coins on it. When we're done with that, we'll wait a few minutes for them to take the beam out of here, and we'll ground guide you over to this area. For those of you that want to get a closer look, we got a little area tied off there, and we'll uh, observe them put that beam in place. When that's done, we'll ground guide you back over here into the, the, this area. All this time with us and in, in, with you in tow, we won't have to wear PPE or anything else. And once again, generals, don't wander off into the building or anything. We'll have to, we'll have to tackle you. All right. So. Uh, Stay with the ground guides, stay within the yellow lines, and uh, enjoy the ceremony, and uh, thank you very much for being here. The current Ireland Army Health Clinic on Fort Knox is the oldest medical building in the Army's inventory in the continental United States, opening in 1957. Having reached the end of its life cycle, the United States Army Office of the Surgeon General commissioned a medical military construction project to replace the existing clinic. As the Milcon Design and Construction Agent, the Corps of Engineers procured the services of the design-build team of Mortensen and Callison RTKL. Through coordinated efforts between Ireland Army Health Clinic, the United States Army Health Facility Planning Agency, the United States Army Corps of Engineers Louisville District, and the United States Army Corps of Engineers Engineering and Support Center, Medical Outfitting and Transitioning, Huntsville, Alabama, the legacy of Ireland Army Health Clinic will continue. The design of the replacement clinic is to create and continue a world-class physical environment of care using the concepts and processes of evidence-based design, the guidelines of green building through leadership and energy and environmental design, LEAD, and the Army Medicine patient and family-centered care principles. This design method is standard across the Army health system, enabling the Army to maintain its commitment to the Fort Knox community. The replacement clinic is a two-level building spanning 101,373 square feet. There are large open spaces permitting vast natural light, integrated technology improving the patient and staff experience, native landscape design, intrinsic building materials, and functional and ergonomic physical spaces. The physical space creates a patient and family-centered atmosphere, which will enhance the healing environment, improve the delivery of care, and facilitate better outcomes. From groundbreaking to this topping off ceremony, through memorialization and the ribbon cutting, the project delivery team will remain committed to building the best facility in support of the vision of Army Medicine. The replacement facility will open winter 2020. The legacy building will be retired. However, the legacy of Army Medicine and Ireland Army Health Clinic will continue. Representatives of the project delivery team and Ireland Army Health Clinic will share their perspective about this construction milestone. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Jim Mills, executive of Mortenson with opening remarks. All right, I'm not gonna sing my, uh, my speech after, after that level of, of talent. That'll only be a, a downgrade, so. Um, my name is Jim Mills, I'm construction executive with Mortensen, and I had the privilege of being one of the first Mortensen representatives that got involved with this project. And it went all the way back to the industry day about a year and a half ago, and I was lucky enough to stay with the project all the way through up until a couple months ago when one of my colleagues took over for various business reasons. And um, admittedly, he will deliver the project better than I ever will, so you're, you're in good hands. But, 
it gave me a moment of panic when I was asked to come back and do the topping off um, speech in that there's fo folklore in our industry that said in ancient Aztecan times, the lead builder or construction manager of that time would be thrown off the building in an honorable sacrifice. And so, um, yeah, exactly. And so thank goodness for modern humanity and even some basic safety principles today that there'll be no throwing of me off the building today, but at least now I planted the mental image in some of my team's mind that um, I'm sure they'll relish for a while. Um, Mortensen considers this project to be a model example of, of how we want a project to go. Um, first of all, it's a, it's a healthcare facility. Mortensen's history is is built on healthcare facilities all the way back to the late 50s doing small little remodeling projects in Minneapolis to today building some of the, the most renowned uh, medical facilities across the country. And what other project you know, can you do that, that serves a better purpose than to help, help uh, our community and their healthcare needs? Um, secondly, it's a military project. Two of Mortensen's uh, founding members are, are ex-military. One of our more disciplined and organized groups in our company is our federal contracting group, who I work for. And you know, there's, there's a lot of companies out there that look at the federal market as just a filler when the rest of the business is, is slow. We look at it as one of our principal businesses. Um, we're one of the most organized and disciplined, and um, we, we can't think of better projects to do than to build projects that are for our, our service members. Um, but finally, we consider it a, a model project in that the partnering and the team concept that everybody involved has, has shown today has just been fantastic. From the very start, the, the Louisville District Corps of Engineers office, they not only spoke the words teamwork and partnering, but they've exhibited it all the way through um, to where we are today. Other partners like HFPA, um, HFPA um, Leo Daly, the uh, program manager, our lead designer, uh, Kellison RTKL, and all the other designers on the project, our trade partners, our craft workers, and our own Mortensen team member have all embraced that concept of teamwork and partnering. And, and this is the result, that the project's delivered on schedule um, to this point through some pretty extreme conditions, weather conditions in the winter time. And that's all a, a, a testimony to that team approach and the partnering. So we couldn't be prouder of, of what everybody has done so far. So with that said, I'd just like to close by saying Mortensen is proud to be the builder for this project. We look forward to successful final completion of the project. And we look forward to delivering this project as a team to our service members. Thanks. Thank you, Mr. Mills. Ladies and gentlemen, Colonel Antoinette Gant, Commander, U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, Louisville District, with remarks. Good morning. Wait a minute now. We're at a project site about to get a truly world-class project made, done for us, and we say good morning as if we didn't do PT this morning. Sir, I know. Good morning. Good morning, Mary. Absolutely, and the sun is shining. The last three times I've come through here and tried to actually go and walk this site, it has rained tremendously and not a, a, and a field site would allow us to actually do the walkthrough. So Al, I'm not sure what you did, but I don't know, called in the gods or something, but thank you very much for being able to allow us to be able to have this um, successfully. Um, to the generals that are here today, I just want to say thank you for coming and being a part of this ceremony. Truly, this is the welcome to the world of construction. And within construction, we have our own language and definitely topping off is one of those things that we actually do. Not topping off the beer just yet, but we're definitely gonna top off and putting this bean in place. Um, truly excited about being here and being a part of this great tradition. And in, in that being said, you know, every person that was actually talked about today that is a member of this organization of, of helping to actually ensure that we are able to build this world-class facility and who it's actually going to, they're all what we consider partners, our true stakeholders in, in actually establishing and knowing that this, what we're going to do is be able to deliver on a world-class project here. 
Our General, Lieutenant General Seminate Todd Seminate tells us that we as commanders have one mission, and that's to deliver the program. And so for you here at Fort Knox, our, as the Louisville District, our one uh, project here is to make sure that we deliver this project to you in conjunction with the many members that we have. I want to say thanks to the team who've actually put this together to actually do this topping off, um, and also to our partners. We've got Jim, who's actually talked about from Morrison, and what a great job they've actually done. done. It's truly a team, a partnership there. But there are several other small subcontractors, or well, I shouldn't say small, but contractors that they've actually have. So you talk about Kelsey, McKinney, TNT, Superior Steel. All of what they have, have done is the result of what you actually see out here right now. And I will tell you, although Jim was a little modest in saying delivering on time, we're a little bit ahead of schedule right now. So we're actually grateful to be able to say that we're doing, we're doing that. You know, it was mentioned earlier that this is the 100th year from the medical standpoint, 243 years for the Army. Also from the Corps of Engineers standpoint, who has been here the uh, same amount of time as, as the U.S. Army, one of the first to actually be established, 243 years we're celebrating as well. So truly a remarkable time um, to, to be a part of what's actually going on here. We say, you know, this is done truly in a team spirit. We show today by what we're actually doing that this is just just the beginning. As we finish the, the steel portion of it, the more complex parts actually start. And that's truly where I say we uh, get into the meat of what's actually supposed to be delivered here. And I know, based on what we've done so far, we will continue to make sure that we're not just building a world-class um, facility, but we're doing it for a community and we're doing it for a base that has needed it for quite some time, knowing that it uh, is the oldest in the actual inventory of the hospitals. So today I say thank you for coming and being a part of this. We are Army strong, we're building strong, taking care of people, and most importantly for us as a Corps of Engineers, we're Louisville proud. So guys, thank you very much and have a great day. Thank you, Colonel Gant. Ladies and gentlemen, Ke Colonel Kevin R. Bass, Commander, U.S. Army Medic, Fort Knox, with remarks. Yeah. Hoo -ah, hoo -ah. So, so I'll tell you that um, from a MEDAC uh, perspective, we are very uh, excited about uh, the milestone that we're celebrating today. And that, um, you know, this is relatively a small group, but I, you know, I just want you to know that we have a large portion of the MEDAC employees uh, right now that are on the fourth floor on an outdoor patio uh, that is watching this that, and is being piped in from Sergeant Sanabria. So I just want to say hi to all of our uh, staff. They're, they're a great crew. So uh, even though they couldn't be down here on site, uh, we as a MEDAC family are really excited about this. Uh, distinguished guests, soldiers, civilians, families, friends, thanks for being here today uh, to help us celebrate uh, this uh, achievement, an important milestone. Um, a little over seven months ago, uh, we conducted uh, a great groundbreaking ceremony for this, uh, this new facility. And in my remarks, uh, I pointed out then, as I will do today, uh, that the significance of this milestone isn't just about the construction of another building on Fort Knox. This project to us represents our continued steadfast commitment uh, to caring for our world, uh, our nation's history, our nation's heroes and their families, and it's about the dedicated medical staff that delivers uh, that care. And in that vein, I can't think of a better day uh, with this beautiful weather to have this ceremony than on the Army's uh, 243rd birthday. The achievement of this milestone and the construction process represents continued progress uh, towards modernizing health services for the Fort Knox community. This clinic is a reality in part due to a larger MedCom initiative to optimize the medical force and to enhance soldier readiness. And I will assure you that the commitment to ensuring world-class medical care for our nation history heroes is stronger than ever. Every day, we manage the delivery of health care to over 23,000 beneficiaries in the Fort Knox community, ranging from active duty, guard, reserve, and their families uh, to retirees, while also providing oversight to a health support area that spans six states, uh, and six other uh, medical treatment facilities while also maintaining enduring medical capability at two MFGI sites simultaneously. This new state-of-the-art facility, 
outfitted with modern medical equipment will allow for improved access and quality of care and ultimately increase soldier readiness. There is a quote that says, someone is sitting in the shade today, Pua, because someone planted a tree a long time ago. This project has been several years in the making and would not have been possible without the outstanding support from our Fort Knox senior leaders uh, and mission partners, Colonel Gant and her Louisville Corps of Engineer team, Colonel Brennan and his health facility planners, Mr. Jim uh, Mills and the Mortensen construction team. It is truly a team effort. And again, I want to thank you all for your continued support of this project and attending today's ceremony. And I look forward to, everyone, to seeing everyone at the ribbon cutting ceremony uh, in January 2020. Hua. for me, sir. <laughs> Thank you, sir. There is a rich cultural history and folklore rooted in Scandinavian mythology of celebrating the placement of the last structural beam in a building with the topping out ceremony dating back to at least 700 AD. The ceremony is the beginning of a celebration. The building is at its final height. Although type topping out has European origins, it is also part of American culture. Originally, buildings were primarily made with timber. However, as steel replaced timber, iron workers continued with tradition, a tradition passed through the generations by construction journeymen. A white beam, a tree, and the American flag symbolize the American tradition of topping out. The white beam is a symbol of the artisanship and labor to create the beam and construct a building. It also symbolizes that a construction project has reached its most auspicious point. The tree, usually fir or evergreen, symbolizes the job went up without a loss of life. It is also a symbol of good luck for future occupants. The addition of the American flag to the ceremony dates back to 1919, a demonstration by the U.S. Steel Iron Workers during the American plan period of their loyalty to flag and country. The flag symbolizes a structure built with federal funds, but for others, it refers to the American dream. It is also written that we are to lower the flag only when the building's owner provides free beer. No? Okay. <laughs> Today's ceremony combines the symbolism of topping out traditions of building construction with one of the Army's traditions of challenge coins. Coins will be ceremoniously placed on the beam by distinguished visitors and guests who will also sign the beam. This will top off the beam. The beam with the American flag and tree will then be hoisted and welded into its final place in the building structure. This will top out the building structure. The Ireland Army Health Clinic replacement facility will be topped off and topped out. I would like to take a moment to acknowledge and recognize the staff of Ireland Army Health Clinic. Without their continued dedication to the patients, the organization, Army Medicine, and the Army, the clinic would just be a building. Given the active construction site and patient care activities, the staff could not attend the ceremony, although they wanted to. In honor of the Ireland staff, a representative was selected to attend on their behalf. Mr. Ben Grant, please come to the front. Mr. Grant is part of the Ireland team. He works in facilities maintenance. Today, he represents all of Ireland staff. In honor of the staff of Ireland Army Health Clinic, Mr. Grant will place a commemorative tile on the beam representing the Fort Knox and U.S. Army Medic Fort Knox Centennial Year. The staff are watching the ceremony on live video feed. Hello, Ireland. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please direct your attention to the final steel beam that completes the building structure. Should you find us, the project delivery team, worthy of such honor, let's make history. At this time, command teams will affix their coin and sign the beam. Will the following command teams please rise and proceed to the beam following Mr. Grant. United States Army Cadet Command and Fort Knox Command Team. First Army Division East Command Team. Fort Knox Garrison Command Team. United States Army Med at Fort Knox Command Team, United States Army Corps of Engineers Louisville District Command Team, United States Army Health Facility Planning Agency Team.
Upon completion of the historical creation of the structural beam, please return to your seat. I haven't forgotten. Actually, since all of the command teams will frago, would the remaining command teams please go? 84th Training Command Team, United States Army Reserve Aviation Command Team, 100th Training Division Command Team, Department of Veteran Affairs Team, Mortensen Team, Walsh Healthcare Logistics Team. We'll just frag up. Any alibis? Speak now or forever hold your peace. All right, we'll just allow the, the rest to sign. And the beam will be topped off. Ladies and gentlemen, today is the Army's 243rd birthday. In honor of the United States and the United States Army, please rise and sing the Army song. Please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes the topping off portion of today's ceremony. Please direct your attention back to the left and fall, actually, let's give them a few minutes. They are actually going to hoist the beam and we'll move to the secondary location. On behalf 
On behalf of the Replacement Facility Project Delivery Team, we thank you for joining us. Thank you to all our veterans, past and present. Please stay for the remainder of the ceremony. Refreshments will be served in the food tent, and Mortensen will facilitate a site tour for those who are interested.